Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Tuesday morning in this uh, third week after, uh, of Advent. So glad you're able to join Tom and I. So let us begin. Hear the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips, and my and mouth shall you. declare your praise. Glory, Glory to the to Father, Lord, and to the Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O come, come, let us worship him. O come, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 94. O Lord God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world, give the arrogant their just deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and aff afflict your chosen nations. They murder the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet they say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you uh, dullards among the people. When uh, when will you foolish understand? When will you fools understand? He that plants the ear does not hear. He that formed the eye does not. He does not see. He who admonishes the nations will he not punish? He who uh, he who teaches all the world has he no knowledge? The Lord knows our human thoughts. How that like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you instruct, O Lord, whom you teach out of your law to give them rest in evil days until pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his own. For judgment will again be just, and all the true of hearts will follow it. Who rose up from me against the wicked, who took my part against the evildoers? If the Lord had not come to my help, I, I, should, I, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your love, O Lord, upheld me. When my cries, when many cares fill my mind, your uh, consolations cheer my soul. Can a corrupt tribunal have any part with you, one which frames evil into law? They conspire against the life of the just and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God, the rock of my trust. He will turn their wickedness back upon them and destroy them in their own malice. The Lord of God will destroy them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, do not abandon your people, nor ignore the power of the enemy against your church. Grant that those who suffer for the sake of justice may find consolation in the cross to be filled with your joy now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our reading today continues in Isaiah in the ninth chapter, beginning with verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the deep dark darkness on them has light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nations, thou hast increased its joy. They rejoice before thee as with joy in the harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoils. For the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, thou hast broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the trampled warrior in battle tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of this government and of the peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. And our second reading comes from Second Peter, the first chapter, beginning with verse 12. 
Therefore, I intend always to remind you of these things so you know them and are established in the truth that you have. I think it right, as long as I am in the body, to arouse you by way of to remember, to reminder, since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon, as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me. And I will see to it that after my departure, you may be able at any time to recall these things. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths, myths when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father and the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. We heard this voice born from heaven, for we were with him in the holy mountain, and we have the prophetic word made much more sure. You will do well to pay attention to this as to the lamp shining in the dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. First of all, you must understand this, that no prophecy of scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation because no prophecy ever came by the impulse of man, but men moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father of love, you make a new creation through Jesus Christ, your son. May his coming free us from sin and renew his life within us. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed God be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy Lord, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Lord, us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining, Tom and I. It's just a great way to start our day. And so I hope uh, Pastor Matthew will be on this evening, and I hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you, and have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.